Hello and welcome to IGU tutorial number one. In this tutorial, we'll give brief information about the basic features of IGUI. To install IGUI, all you have to do is to double click on the unit package file and click import. After all package contents are imported, IGUI will be ready to use. The heart of IGUI editor is IGUI toolbox. You can access the toolbox from window IGUI toolbox. Now I'm placing it. IGUI elements can be drawn onto game view window. Before starting to design a new GUI, first place you have to visit is IGUI settings panel to choose the desired unit scripting language, C sharp or JavaScript. This choice is important because you won't be able to switch between languages while there is a root in your scene. To add elements, first you need a root in your scene. You can do this by clicking the house icon at the right top of IGUI toolbox. In IGUI, there are four main types of containers. Panel, Window, Scroll Wheel and Container. And two specialized ready-to-use container, Tab Panel and Slide Panel. More information about containers will be given in the succeeding tutorials. Now, let's add a panel to our scene. Every element on our scene can be resized and moved freely in IGUI. Also, as you can see, our panel is snapping on certain places of the scene. Snapping feature can be disabled or the snap tolerance can be adjusted from the settings panel. Let's add an element to panel, for example a button. To do this, I simply click on the button icon on the toolbox and draw it on the panel. Let's take a look at the inspector view. Let's investigate position and size property of the button. As you can see, width is 0.5. If any of the position and size values range between minus 2 and 2 exclusively, then this value is treated as relative. What do we mean by relative? Let's explain this on our button. When width is 1, it fully stretches to its parent's container's available space. When we set it to 0.5, button's width becomes the half of its container's available space. Let's make x value 0. As you can see, it aligns to left. So, as you guess, when x value is set to 1, the button aligns to right. As you see, when I resize the panel, button resizes and repositions itself relatively. Let's draw another button and set the value of width greater than 2. For example, 200. Now, in button 1, width is 0.5 and in button 2, width is 200. Let's take a look at the behaviors when the panel is resized. As you see, button 1 resizes its width according to the panel, but button 2 preserves its width. Now, let's add some basic functionality to these buttons. For example, I want button 1 to align left when button 2 is clicked. That's very easy in IGUI. Just double click on button 2. That will head you right to the code block for click event of button 2. We can access all elements in our scene with their variable names. So, to align button 1 to left, we just have to call setX method of button 1 
with parameter 0. Now, let's see what happens. I click on button 2 and button 1 aligns left as you see. These are very basic features of iGUI. Detailed information about all features will be given on succeeding tutorials.